Trade zone value. Value of all holdings in this trade zone. Increases the value of trade posts in cities. Income from this trade post. Zero. Current base income. Zero. Is that just because it's looted? Am I just throwing money away here? Because it kind of feels like it might be. Oh, Silk Road, is it closed? Yeah, it might be actually. Value of Silk Road is reduced by 25%. It's not closed. Silk Road is closed. Yeah, it's closed. Oh! Emperor Shinali Aizong, the Chinese son of heaven, has died and been succeeded by Shinali Shenzong. Like his predecessor, the new emperor is known to believe in an isolationist China. Apparently he takes a special interest in Indo-Aryan cultures, but frowns on Muslims. And this is a province I can raid, though only <laughs> just... Oh, because they moved their capital, this is no longer a raiding mission, I see. Um, let's go and raid their actual capital then. Oh, that won't help at all. No, never mind, let's come over here. You can declare war on China to open it up. Yeah, because my wars so far have been so beneficial. That sounds like an absolutely terrible idea. And you should feel terrible for even suggesting it. Damn it, chat. Stop trying to corrupt what's going on. Oh, dear. Um, let's change who's in charge here. I'm going to leave Fishy in charge at the center. I, I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. That... Wow, that's a big army. During the battle, Kumul, the enemy commander, cornered Uran, who cut down several good men, then died. Damn it! How long till you arrive? A whole month? Um. Nope. See if we can still loot, though I doubt it. Nope. Well, that's. That's really annoying. Alright, so we just pillaged another bunch of places. I need to remove you from power. Council says no. But I want it. I really need you guys to go ahead and become more loyal. At least you're not disloyal. Right, well, I guess we'll continue res <laughs> resetting the army. Just died on the legendary jewelry journey. Shouldn't have jeweled everyone. It's difficult. What the 
Where are you going? Oh, there. Okay, uh, well, I can hire another unit. Which is going to be one of the maximized heavy infantry and light cavalry. Heavy cavalry, even. Light cavalry wouldn't exactly do a lot of good here. I'm really annoyed that I can't loot these guys anymore. Alright, so we've got the silk trade road route thing created. Uh, so I think that the rudimentary trade offices might be the most useful because of the prestige and stuff that they give. And then probably also the mercenary garrison. Because that's more garrison. I attack Beshbalik. Um, yes, I could. I should. I'm going to wait until my main man's back home. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and time, team, time, blah, time seems to slip away. Help. You hear the voice of Kakan Kutale just before you pass out. As you wake up the next morning, it feels like your head is about to explode. But at least you're safe. No oh, goody. I owe my powerful vassal a favor. That's not going to backfire at all. Lothian Tam. Um, probably actually better as an intrigue. Which means you should also be trained by someone who's good at intrigue. If I really want someone with a high intrigue, that is. Ulugur doesn't seem to be at war anymore. Still has 4,000 troops. I... don't want to do this as an invasion. So border nation costs 300 prestige. Conquest is just a border conquest. Which is going to be that one province, because I can't actually reach that one anyway. Council says no! And calm just spat out. That's unfortunate for you. Because this is going to be a heck of a lot more beneficial to me. Though so that, <laughs> that's actually a really big calm. Uh, that's 5,000 men that they could raise, but they are feudal. They are feudal. That'll be a very long war. If I humiliate them, does that do me anything? No. How is my clan doing? 
number-wise. We're getting a bit short. See, an invasion of Shia would actually Shia would actually be really good for me. It would also mean I'd have a bunch of vassal states, though feudal vassals. I think for the moment I'm just gonna raid you. Well, I don't really need the money right now. I mean, raiding stuff is always good, but... Mm, if I don't do this, somebody else will. Oh. I don't have the population for it anyway. Right, raiding it is. Let's split you in half so I don't take attrition. Starting to think Uren may fancy me. Um, oh. So, where is that one, Juice Duchy? It's over here. Which would have these two clans fighting each other. Which I'm kind of okay with. Because Kuta doesn't have any duchies. Should cause some rivalry between those two. And apparently I need to send some more troops. How many more? Oh, I need 250. That'll do. Today I was approached by my brother, Horned Panda. Apparently he's concerned by my health and thinks I'm becoming too frail and thin. If I keep eating so little, he says, he will soon no longer I will soon no longer be able to wield a sword, pleasure a woman, or even just go out riding. Am I seriously paranoid? I don't believe you. Nonsense! You're just trying to make me fat and slow. I'm sure of it. Actually, I'm fairly sure that my minions right now, right now like me. So I'd really like to improve diplomatic relations in my capital so I can improve relations with my counsellors. Please! Unfortunately, that's not an option. Through staged war games and large-scale exercises, I feel confident I can muster one of the main military disciplines. Mounted warriors, of course. Duh. The horde swarms into the holding of Quiden tribe. Bring me back the riches. Trade post still building, sheep still building. Actually, now I have a couple more loyalists. 
Need to get two more. Although you are actually very close to becoming a loyalist yourself. That would do it, I think. A strange chest made of an unknown metal was recovered by your men while they looted the holding. Loot boxes! Whoop whoop. That's true. I haven't been able to loot any uh, stuff for a while. Any uh, special bits and pieces? I have someone to find out. It anyway. Not at all suspicious. Hire more spies. You didn't look hard enough. Alright. Guess it's legit. Barbara, Barbara, says not smart, pulling my arm, pleading to play with him in his latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of. What do you want? You are a son. You are my... Only son. Uh, what's up, buddy? Kind of cruel. Alright, not smart. What is it? I'll give you a hand. Just learned through misclick that I can raise vassals' levies in any county they hold, not just the capital, using the 200k troops from India, which would have taken five years to walk to Greece, is now instant. How? You just raise their levies in a county they own. I guess. Although I would have thought that would only raise that county's levies. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy. I'll buy something nice then, with my unlimited bazillions. And I'm now charitable. Another kid. Who's this? This is gonna be... No Argonus. Okay. My... Court... Physician is concerned. I'll go and deal with it then. Uh, bring me back the spoils and we shall split them amongst us. Seems whatever treatment Uj administered worked. Little Norganus is much better. Now she appears to be no different than other children her age. She's no longer sickly. That's really good, actually. Loot it all. Right, that's why it doesn't matter if I'm actually adjacent or not, because I still get the money from the loot it all burning down of stuff. He's still a glory hound, even though he is... no. Oh. I thought 70 was where they became loyal. I mean, the one province he wants is this one. Oh, I'm not at war with Kant, though. I'm not actually going to gain any territories from you. Hotan can raise 10,000 troops. Um, council would actually say yes to a war against Kotan. I'm raiding calm at the moment, so we wouldn't be able to do that. You need... You're actually looking like an intrigue person as well. Let's go with etiquette. See what that does for you. And you are looking like learning. So, faith.
So wait, where do you do this? In the county screen, because it raises everything with the vassal, which is from the province. Oh yeah. This isn't really doing it for me though. Losing sight of my goal, I need to go out to Sutai, but how do I do that? How many troops do you have now? 4,000. Well, part of it is I still need to rebuild my warband, which I was in the process of doing. Part of that is getting rid of these old units. Because I am once again under my limit, so that's good. And these guys have 8,000 each, so theirs are growing too. That's good. Good, 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 good. History is a subject that's always fascinated you and you spent the last few weeks studying Alexander the Great. I'm still a misguided warrior. The Karmatsa faith triumphant. Adherents of the Zoroastrian faith has slowly dwindled to the point where they are no longer predominant. Council position. Steward died. We do have a level 17 steward. We have a level 9 who would be loyal. My gifts are actually pretty strong right now. Let's just bribe them all. Hopefully that changes a couple of opinions to be a little more in my favour. Sutai does seem to be my undoing when I fight them, but hopefully this time I'll be more prepared because I'm bringing more heavy cavalry to the stage. And heavy cav are really strong. I am a little bit concerned about the fact that I may be over or over um, compensating, over committing into heavy cav. They are cheaper than camels, though. So, what is the advantage of camels over cavalry? I mean, camels over heavy cav. Camels are super strong in melee. I need to wait for some more troops to come in. Uh, also, actually, we could get rid of another small stack. That would do. Progress of technologies skyrocketing again. Marshall, you are... Oh, you're researching at the moment. You're not training soldiers. Uh, you know what? I want you to get me some soldiers right now. Because this is a little more important. Heavy Cav is also super strong. Why don't I look at their values? I don't think you can, because I don't have any Heavy Cav. And they're also 250, so I'm a little bit reluctant to hire them. Oh, uh-oh. Is this? Uh, the dude next to me in Kotan. Okay. I 
Well, I'm going to go around and smash up your armies before you can rally against me. Also, Fishy is a cavalry commander, is he not? He is. So he's not quite as good as the others. But he's getting there. And because he's cav commander, I think I'm going to give you the heavy cavalry units. Which means you're going to hit like a truck. And then I'm going to give the cavalry archers on my left flank. So they get the flanker bonuses. Which is what you have, right? Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Let's go down to speed 3 so I can actually see what's going on. Also, you can build something. Um, I would like... <clears throat> could upgrade the AMs. Oh, we could build all of this stuff, too. A minter increases the trade route, trade route wealth. Which I think would actually allow me to start generating money there. I do need to be careful it doesn't get burned down, though, because I'm investing quite a lot into this. Although the, the minter is not actually part of the trade route. Speaking of the trade route, is there anything else I can do for you? I could give you more of a garrison. I think I need to be giving you more of a garrison. Alright, this is going to be a good test of how strong your army is. And already I can say, not very. Because you have no flanks. Yeah, you're going to get chewed up there, buddy. Hard. 700 losses for 12. And you're locked in. So, uh, and so are you. Come get me. This is a disastrous start for them. 700 kills. Um, I, I think I might just sit where I am. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered old boy is opening one of my letters. Uh, she could use some practice reading. An honourable mention, my trusted Chancellor Yola reports success of the clan of Cthulhu. Their leaders now like Tokarid a lot better. Actually, the clans are really favourable towards us. So, let's move you here. And improve their relations of us too. That's a lot of people going to here. <laughs> Running away. That's the troops from a single county. Of course, he has no flanks. Well. Father-in-law died. And I have enough troops to raise another unit. And I think... I think I can. Yes, I can. Alright. Uh, do I want camels? I'll get one unit of camels just to see what they're like. Okay, so this also shows you the uh, value, combat values, which I'll show you momentarily. When they actually join the army. Bring me back the spoils. And all the money. Come on. Really? The specials don't show here? 